everyone in today's video we'll be learning on how to do the local setup of expo and run an expo app on ios simulator android emulator and a web especially on a mac if you're interested to know how to do a windows let me know i will make a video of that all right the first thing we need is homebrew so we're going to type homebrew By the way, I'll put the steps in the description box also. You can check that out. So you're going to copy this link, okay, and paste it on your terminal. Now, because I already have Homebrew installed, I wouldn't do that. But we can check if Homebrew works or not by typing brew doctor. So it's going to analyze and check if there's anything that needs to be updated or what is the status or you know if brew is installed all of these statements once this is done we need watchman so we can do that using brew install watchman once you install the watchman the next thing you would be doing is type brew doctor again to just check if there is any errors or any mistakes. After these two are done, the next thing you would need is Node.js. So open a new tab, type Node.js. You can download it, save a package and run it. If not, you can follow another step by typing brew install node and that should install Node.js. You can check the version of Node.js by typing node hyphen hyphen version. NPM also gets installed whenever node installs. So NPM hyphen hyphen version. All right, now that both of them are installed, let us do the Expo installation. There are a lot of commands for it. The one which works for you, you can use that. The one which worked for me, I'm going to type it right here. The other options in the description box, you can check them out. So type npm space install space expo hyphen cli and glue. Okay. This will ensure that the latest version of npm gets installed. Sorry, expo installs. This is going to take a couple of minutes. Sometimes you might get errors in this part of the point. So you can check out another set of statements that you need to follow in the description box. This does take a little bit of time, so be patient with it.
if any warnings come do not panic about it all right these are general and are, is pretty much common perfect this look almost installed and updated all right now the next thing we have to do is check the version of expo expo hyphen hyphen version that's the version of expo that you have installed now we will go with how to do it on a ios simulator so for that you need xcode but before installing xcode let's go with certain permissions open system preferences security and privacy scroll down to full disk access unlock this by having a permission remember to give access to watchmen that we installed in the later part give access to xcode android studio if you want to work it on a emulator visual studio code because we'll be working on it and then lock your permissions you can install xcode by typing xcode it shall open and you can download the features accordingly the second method is to type command space and type xcode if not available it's going to get installed in your applications i have xcode pre installed now to open a emulator you need to do certain permissions again let's open xcode app this is how it looks like go to xcode go to preferences there's something called components and you need to install the ios simulator whichever is the latest version i i recommend you to install that one i when i was working it was 12 and now it's 13.5 so accordingly you can update after the updation is done open the terminal once again and type open hyphen a and simulator this is going to take a little couple minutes of time and it will open something like this you can go with devices and choose your device accordingly as well again this might take a couple of minutes now to install expo version onto this or expo app onto this this is the following command you need to type expo client colon install colon ios so if you're working on an ios device then it's ios if not it is android once you click on this you will see this kind of an app getting installed you can open this to see the list of expo apps that you have installed now let us do it on a ios device sorry android device follow the same procedure but we need android studio for that this is how android studio looks like click on configure go to AVD manager and you can open any emulator of your choice to create a new virtual device you can click on create virtual device choose any device that you want click on next click on the version you want and click on next name it accordingly whichever you want to click on finish 
you will ensure and see that the latest version is being installed. You can click on run to run the device. Now let's go ahead and open an app. To create a new project, I'm going to go to the desired location. To create a new project, type expo space init. You can choose whichever version you want to. I personally prefer the blank screen. I would let's say sample. This might take a couple of minutes, but this is one time. All right, this is already done. Now let's go to CD and sample. Type LS to see the list of files and you can see all the files being installed. Now to run this app, you need to type expo space start. You will see a Metro Builder right over here. If you wouldn't have given permissions, then you will be seeing a list of errors at this point. To run an iOS emulator or simulator, click on run iOS simulator. You will observe that it is going to run on a simulator. Sorry about this. The build takes a couple of minutes and there you go, your app is ready. To run on an iOS device, this is the process. And to run on an emulator, click on run on Android device. There you go. This is your app on your Android emulator. Let's run it on a web browser. There you go, your app on emulator or the web device. You can open your Visual Studio code. Go to the desired location open this project open app.js and do the necessary changes All right, there you go. To stop working on the project, click on Control C. This will disconnect. You will see that it actually reflects on all the three devices. Hope this video was helpful. If you need any more doubts or any more clarifications, 
let me know i shall make another video bye